First tonight, justice for Patrick. People gathered in Grand Rapids this afternoon for a protest and march in honor of a man shot and killed by Grand Rapids police earlier this week. News 8's Byron Tollefson has been there all afternoon. Byron, we understand a vigil is underway in honor of Patrick Leoya. What can you tell us? Jacqueline, that vigil is actually happening behind me right now. Inside, it is very packed in there. A lot of people inside at the moment. And really throughout today, Patrick Leoya's family has been leading this protest, calling for justice for Patrick in Southeast Grand Rapids. Patrick's mother carrying a picture of her late son, crying out his name. Demonstrators have been peacefully protesting, demanding justice for Patrick, and calling for the video of this fatal shooting to be released immediately. The police chief has promised to release the video by noon on Friday. Protesters walked from Boston Square to the Grand Rapids Center for Community Transformation more than a mile. The site for the candlelight vigil being the Grand Rapids Center for Community Transformation. Peter Leoya, Patrick's father, asked protesters to remain peaceful, but he wants the world to see what happened to his son. He says he's seen people killed in his home country of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, but he's never seen anything like how his son was killed. And I would like uh, this protest to be a peaceful protest, but I want them to show the world that what is happening up right now is not right, it's not good. I mean, the world needs to know the truth. People need to fight for justice for Patrick. Ken County Commissioner Robert S. Womack led a chant calling for police to release the video. He says it means a lot that today's protest has been peaceful, and he's proud of so many young people for turning out. That we're going to be peaceful to respect this family, and that we heard something going a little to the left, we went over there and policed ourselves because we knew that if the GRPD came in, it could be people just setting up a trap to have confrontation with them because there's so much high um, pain going on right now. I'm very happy, and as you see, there wasn't a police car in sight. And Jacqueline, as I mentioned, that candlelight vigil is happening behind me right now. It's packed in there. I was just in there a minute ago. Almost no space, so a lot of people turning out today. I was just hearing some protesters shouting Patrick as they mourn his loss. We'll have much more on this story at 10 and 11 on News 8. For now, reporting live in Grand Rapids, Byron Tollefson, News 8.